Welcome to this week's episode. Make sure if you like it, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Me and I are coming to the island this morning. Um, this island is home to coconut crabs. A couple of us have seen them, but they're super shy. So I'm going to see if I can capture it on camera this morning. So I come over to the island every day and I've only seen them once. Lee's telling me to walk sneakily because they get really scared easy. I wish the camera could zoom because we can see him, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get closer. Oh, We've got to leave the camera over there. Now. This is one of their holes, but where we see him is over here. They just went in his hole. I'm going to set the camera up and see if he comes back out. I left the camera there. I don't think we had much luck. I didn't see any after they went in initially. I think they're very, very shy. And maybe we'd have to leave a camera overnight or set it up for longer. But sorry guys, didn't see a coconut crab today. Oh, they are out. I can see them, but if I go closer, I don't think they're gonna stay. Hey babe, they're out. I need the zoom camera. And you'd be able to see him from here. Is it zoomed right in? No. Because you, you, you get to like that timber and they run in. It was hard to see from a distance, so mum set the camera up and left it for a while to see if we could capture the shy crabs. Meanwhile, the crabs stopped being camera shy and popped up to see the world while no one was around. We got into internet and realised these in fact were actually not coconut crabs, like mum thought. We couldn't find what type of crabs they are, so if you know, be sure to share with us in the comments. There are plenty of weird and wonderful things that live in the sand. Check out this creature. Anyone know what this is? And is it dangerous? Let us know in the comments below if you know. Me. 
let's go check out some other interesting animals we can find under the ocean. This dive was near the ranger station and there was nothing too unique, but we saw plenty of little reef sharks. Lights falling too fast, I know if I'm ready. Your gleam is all I've got, so rise over my bed, over my story. Show me which way to go. This is a remora fish. They usually hitch rides with sharks, rays or bigger fish by sucking on and attaching themselves. This one takes a liking to mum while she cleans the bottom of Catalpa. No waves, no worries. We grab boards and tow each other around the islands. Remember how it started. I was lost in a dream when the fire in my heart said an open road. I've already found some light. The feeling grows. And anything sounds all. Anyone remember that little girl that wanted to backflip off Catalpa yeah, so badly all those years ago? Go, go, go. You can. Go, 
<laughs> well, look at her now. These two are insanely good at cliff jumping and back flipping. It's beautiful to watch. You both should be very proud of yourselves. That was beautiful. 10 out of 10. This is why we choose this lifestyle. It's places like this that we get to have as our backyard. We're able to stay as long as we like and really explore a place. And yeah, we know how lucky we are. Being able to live here during the pandemic has been an absolute dream. Join us next week as we leave this beautiful place in search for new and wonderful experiences. As always, thanks for watching. To see real time updates and watch videos ad free before anyone else, join our Patreon family. It's because of them these videos are possible. See you next week.